Hello everyone, I'm John, a certified automotive technician, and today I'll be showing you the most important engine sensors that require regular cleaning to keep your car running smoothly. First, let's talk about the Mass Airflow Sensor, or MAF. This critical sensor measures the amount and temperature of air entering your engine, helping your car's computer manage fuel injection for optimal performance. You can find the MAF sensor between the air filter box and throttle body. When it gets dirty, you might experience hesitation during acceleration or see a check engine light. To clean it, first make sure your engine is cool, then locate and remove the sensor, spray it with a specialized MAF cleaner, and let it dry completely before reinstalling. I recommend cleaning your MAF sensor every time you change your air filter. Next is the Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor, or MAP. This sensor measures pressure in the intake manifold and helps regulate fuel delivery. You'll typically find it mounted on the intake manifold or throttle body. When dirty, it can trigger your check engine light and cause poor fuel economy. To clean it, disconnect your battery first, then carefully remove the sensor. Spray it with an appropriate sensor cleaner while holding it facing down and reinstall it after it's completely dry. The third important sensor is the oxygen sensor. This monitors the oxygen content in your exhaust gases to help your engine run efficiently. Located in your exhaust system, a dirty O2 sensor can cause poor fuel economy and emissions problems. To clean it, carefully unplug the connector, remove the sensor, and clean it with a specialized oxygen sensor cleaner. Be gentle and make sure it's completely dry before reinstalling. Remember, always use cleaners specifically designed for each sensor type, work in a well-ventilated area, and ensure sensors are completely dry before reinstallation. Regular sensor maintenance will improve your vehicle's performance, fuel efficiency, and longevity. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about sensor maintenance, feel free to leave them in the comments below.